Who? You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you, that's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? It's sad the elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You... know about war, don't you? You're back. I see you've been busy. How observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. Oh, Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head. Well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you. I could just feel what she was feeling, what she was afraid of. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise. What now? We have the light. To Midgard.
lets us travel without moving. We just came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. Remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? You're Look, we rode past that statue of Thor earlier, when we left the Witch's Cave. And what direction is that? It's mid-morning. The sun is over there, so... That's south. South. Focus up! <laughs> I'll see what I can fit together. Enemies ahead!
Father, do you... do you think I could carry her now? No. But I... I said no. Okay. Carved the face in the mountain. You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch our step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Well, there's the black breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. She was right. Come, let us finish this. Then we climb. You know, Mother said the giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah. I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Teodenheim? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. Ugh. Mel, we made it! More black breath. Come here. Is that a deer? I don't remember stories of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. What does it say? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree hath no might call. Hmm. Floor boy. That doesn't mean anything. Something's missing. Think there's a second light crystal around here?
don't think that'll work. that got up there. <laughs> uh. This place must have been important to the giants. It's like they're testing us. Okay, that looks right. Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Ross. What you doing? Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants need to test us further. There's a crystal in that torch hole. Should I light it? That helps, right? Guess we have to go down and go up. These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, they're serious. I am always serious. I forget. Mom always said you never took an interest in this. Giants are just a race, like I was an old fault. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world's of it? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. There's only one. Hey, that could be 
This is a lot of bodies. Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. Be you seeking treasure? See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. Be grateful these stay dead. Say. Yes, sir. Oh, this is Duroc, one of the four stags of the World Tree. He's supposed to watch the entrance to Yodenheim while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? I do not know. in the realms. Think Mom knew this was the Giant's Mountain? No. The request has been more complicated than she could have foreseen. It's a name, I think. Prasley. It means terror. What's that? Weird. There's a candle all tangled up with string and some sort of animal. 
Some kind of lantern? No wit, though. That is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. Stop that. Come on, I was just... Okay. Whoa. What is all this? Where are we? A mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. How do we use it? Atreus, here! Yes, Father! Looks like something's supposed to roll on this. Done here. Well, that's not going anywhere. Read it. Yes, sir. There's got to be a way to make that claw work. That's funny. How so? One hand wrote, the open our only. And another wrote, and also doors. Should we add to it? No. by that torch. What do you think that's I think I see how this works. The claw's on one side, and if we get this unstuck, Oh no! I think the rope stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Find our way up through there. After, you know, getting rid of those things. Wondering who woke up at What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari, been working out in the Velander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Wears a fancy green ring. Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path, 
Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine! If you find Dunvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. How big is this place? It is a mountain. Big. Traps. There's a tunnel, but you won't fit. Take it. See that.
before. There's something special about it. feels like it. Give us the way to the top.
perfect. <laughs> that should hold it. Here we go. Do you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Not the top, but we're closer. There's a note, a giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them, to guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come boy, it is a long way up. 